Let's talk about the major assignment for a little while because this, this dominates the subject. Now the major assignment is done in groups. Uh, the groups will be uh, six or less people. Uh, please don't ask me can we have seven or eight or ten or something like that. The answer is no. Uh, six or less. Six is a manageable number of people. Uh, with six people in a, in a group each person can contribute to the, the project itself. Not only that, but if somebody doesn't contribute, it shows. So I like the idea of six or less. Um, now one of our industry partners is insisting on a group of five for their um, project, so we'll, we'll work with that. Now when you get the marks, the marks are distributed by the group internally, and I get no insight into that and uh, no say in it. It's up to the group to distribute the marks. Um, the only rule is that when you come back and tell me which mark each person should get, and we're talking about um, 50 marks between the, uh, the project itself and the peer presentation. So if um, you distribute those um, 50 marks among all the, the uh, group members, and what comes back to me must have the same average as the mark I gave you. So for example, if the whole thing was, was um, marked and assessed to be, um, I don't know, 42 out of uh, 50, then you can, you can allocate 50 to one person and 32 to the other and 36 to someone else and 45 to someone else and whatever it is, provided the average of all those marks comes back as 42. No, no decimal places, no fraction, no cheating, all right? It's got to be the same average. The project itself is carried out in industry. This is not a theoretical academic exercise. This is a problem set by industry of interest to them. It's in industry for several different reasons. One is it keeps the subject realistic. Uh, it avoids this academic exercise where um, you learn something, but nothing very useful. Second thing is, um, industry want to see, um, they want to see the available talent. They want to see who you are. And you want to see who they are. It gives each exposure to the other. So it's a pretty good scheme and it works very well. The project will be formally presented, or the, the, um, the summary, the post-project review, if you want, uh, is presented to the uh, sponsor after it's finished. And this is a and we'll talk about the presentation later. Now, I said before, you must pass the um, entry level test in order to go on the, um, on the industry site. Um, it's unreasonable and unfair if, you, if I send someone out on site that doesn't know the basic testing and doesn't know uh, about Agile projects. This teaching period, the assignment schedule. Uh, it starts on March 27. On that evening, uh, we'll all sort out who does which project. Now, because of some interest, we, we have um, uh, elaborate ways of um, determining who does which project. And it, it sort of involves some kind of balloting system um, to, to uh, figure it out. Uh, so, obviously, um, not everybody can get the, the project that they particularly want. But we'll sort that out on that night, and then the group can, can uh, decide, all right, how are we going to do this project, and who's going to do what, and start sorting out how you're going to go about it. You then would normally, after that night, uh, make contact with the industry partner, their project manager, and, and uh, sort out times to meet, and you know, all those sort of arrangements. Because I don't step in, I don't do that for you. That's between you and the industry partner. The following week, you'll come back and report to uh, your peer, re peer review team about the, the project context. That is, wh what is the project? Uh, what are the objectives? Uh, who are the stakeholders? What are the constraints? What are the risks? That kind of thing. So just, just the basic planning of the project. Nothing detailed, just that. The following week, We'd expect you to come up with some sort of a broad test strategy. How are you going to do it? Is this, uh, well, we'll wait till all the code's finished and then test like crazy? 
or are we going to do all sorts of simulated tests and, uh, and then um, hope the tests all work on the day, which you might have to do if you're doing a conversion of something. Um, what's, what is going to be your test strategy? The following week you, you um, will hope to have that uh, test strategy broken down to uh, planning. Um, the week after there's no class, it's a midterm break. And from then on, it's more or less while you're in the middle of this project and you're just going to be presenting to your peer group um, uh, basically a weekly report. Um, how's it going? What problems are you having? Uh, what's, what progress are you making? Are you going to get finished? The final presentation is listed there as being on June 5th. Well, um, it may not be on June 5th. Uh, the, the reason is simple logistics. There are just too many groups. And too many companies and there's not enough of us so it probably will be across um, two different dates and uh, there'll be myself on one company and the other tutor on another company so it's it's simply a logistical problem the major assignment report it essentially the report will essentially be a collection of everything you've you've uh, done to date um, and it's the it's a report that you would hand in after the end of a project. You hand it in to your stakeholders and say, look, this is what we set out to do, this is how we did it, this is what happened, here's the results. Right? The report is worth 40% of the marks for the subject, and each group will distribute the marks according to the team member's effort and contribution to the report. The presentation, each group must give a presentation to their industry partner about their project. And if I can arrange it, this will be probably in their boardroom or something similar, um, as is quite common in, in industry. And it's not going to be a friendly sit down over pizza uh, presentation. This is somewhat formal. Presentation with 10% of the marks for the subject, and the presentation will be on site. Uh, you can aim for a 20 minute presentation with 10 minutes for questions. Again, just for logistical reasons. We'll have four of you on the night, that's four half hours, two hours, that's enough for anybody. So you gotta fit it in there. Now a question I'm often asked about the presentation is does every member of the group have to talk? No. Each group can decide who will talk and how basically how they're gonna run the whole thing. Um, obviously the minimum is that at least one person must talk Usually all of the members are there just in case, um, all the group members are there just in case uh, the audience asks questions that one or other group member who may not be wanting to talk, uh, they know the answer and they, they're the one who can chime in. So that's, that's the rules there.